Now it is time for Pop News with Lara. Hey, Lara. Hi, good morning, everybody. We're going to begin with some very happy news today. For Demi Lovato, the singer taking to Instagram overnight to share the news, she's engaged. We're so happy for her. Look at these photos of her and her new fiance, actor Max Eric. Uh, moments after he popped the question in Malibu, Demi writing in part, I knew I loved you the moment I met you. It was something I can't describe to anyone who hasn't experienced it firsthand, but luckily you did too. She also shared a picture of her stunning engagement ring, you guys. There it is. Wow, it's beautiful. And Max also wrote on his Instagram, you are every love song, every film, every lyric, every poem, everything I could ever dream of, and then some. Congratulations to the happy couple. We are so happy to share that news with you this Thursday morning. Up next, we want you to stop, collaborate, and listen. Yes, that line from one of the biggest songs of the 90s, Vanilla Ice's big hit, Ice Ice Baby. Do we have it? Come on, yes, there it is. Work with me, people. Oh, we're working. The rapper story. We are now here. coming to the we're big screen. Yes, yes, I love it. <laughs> Come on, everybody. We don't oh, wow. Right oh, yes, go, Reba. <laughs> go, Reba. Oh, Reba's in on that. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, the rapper, listen to this. Not only did he bring us that magical song, his story now coming to the big screen, a biopic, is in the work on the life of Vanilla Ice with actor Dave Franco from the Oscar-nominated film The Disaster Artist set to play Ice, who, by the way, his real name is Rob Van Winkle. Franco saying, quote, Rob is such a sweet and intelligent guy. He's been super helpful in the process of getting all the details correct, making us privy to information the public doesn't know. The movie, as we understand it, will cover Rob's start as a high school dropout, selling cars in Dallas, to having the first hip-hop single to top the Billboard charts. It will also explore his struggles with stardom as he made music history. The working title of the movie is To the Extreme, which of course is the name of that album I loved so dearly, 1990, genius album. It's been 16 weeks on top of the Billboard charts. So a little movie news for you there. And finally, on top of everything else that Martha Stewart does so well, we can now also add selfie expert to her resume. Yes, the 78-year-old schooling all of us on angles and just overall feeling gorgeous in your own skin. Look at that picture, you guys. She posted the shot on Instagram and she writes, my pool in East Hampton is the place to be on an 89 degree day. We'll say, and the internet agrees, the fans going crazy over this shot, including Chelsea Handler, who tried to recreate it. You look gorgeous, Chelsea. Martha also commented, she writes, Dear Chelsea, I'm so happy that you like my post well enough to emulate it. I do think my pool is a little bit prettier than yours, and my facial expression is a little bit more relaxed. Nevertheless, you are a beautiful girl and too young to be emulating me. Well, guys, Chelsea wasn't the only one who tried to figure out how the heck Martha looks so darn good. Oh, At the go. producers of GMA's <laughs> behest, Yep, I tried. Twelve attempts later, and I look like I'm like I'm injured or something. Like I need I, I need medical attention. Okay, you can take the picture down. Are you happy, producers? Yeah, there you go. There's the other attempts. There were twelve in total. That was the best one. Martha Stewart, Love you it. are beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. And on that note, I send it back to you all in the studio. Gorgeous as always, yes. Lara. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.